you're 100 percent right right um you know there's there, there's training right mm -hmm. and that's just training them on the what to do you know and then there's development right so so we tra we train them on the, on the what to do but then we need to develop them to do it better right mm -hmm. and then there's coaching you know and then we actually have to coach them so that their performance continues to rises and then it actually meets our, our dealership's goals and objectives mm -hmm. i feel like we, we get like one level in <laughs> yeah right, just, just right. Bar barely teach them how to actually use the system and mm -hmm. then Ah, we don't need continued mm -hmm. development. We don't need to continue. Exactly. Coaching. Like we'll just add, yeah. he knows how to, he knows how to push right. the buttons. <laughs> well, some of it is, is so guys will know how to run an operation on a day to day basis because yeah. they live and breathe it every day. But it's really, how do we handle the money? The investment of capital in parts inventory is mm -hmm. the same as the investment of capital in used car inventory. Uh, no different. Uh, but so the lack of resources for technical resources for parts managers um, is, is kind of where, you know, the, one of the problems that guys run up against, whether you're a DP or a parts manager or somebody in the middle, a, a, a general manager, where do we get this stuff besides NADA? There mm -hmm. are resources out there. I, I did a, I just built an article probably a month ago that outlays, uh, lays out all the different resources and where to get them. And besides NADA, which obviously there's some expense, but there's incredible value, right? Um, there's resources that are relatively cheap to, to get started mm -hmm. uh, and get moving on training. No, I, I agree with you. Training is the very, very first step, right? They, mm -hmm. they need they need to understand understand the activities. We need to develop out those activities to be more effective, and we have to continue to coach them to to make sure that those activities are actually meeting what our goals and objectives are. We covered a bunch of great topics today. What stood out most to you? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to like the post and share it to keep the conversation going. You can follow Jason on all social media platforms by following Strategy with Jason. You can find him pretty well everywhere you can share content. I hope we were able to get you thinking. And until the next time, this has been Nathan with Digital Dealership Solutions. Have a great day.